Hello, it's Stan and I'm going to show you how to install the GPT for Sheets and Docs add-on. So it is an add-on not to be confused with a Chrome extension. Uh, this means that to install it, you need to go either inside a Google Sheet or a Google Doc and you will need to go to extensions here and then all the already installed add-ons are here, but I will go, you will need to go to add-ons and then get add-ons and now you can type gpt for sheets and docs so this is this one the one by Telerian. so you click on it and then you can click install and you continue So you need to accept some permissions. Uh, just a, a small, uh, a, a few words on this. Uh, it, the permissions we require are really the uh, strictest that we can uh, in order to, for the product to be usable. So we need to be able to write in your documents, in your in the spreadsheets and the documents, but only those that you use the, the add-on in. Uh, we do not require access to all your documents in your Google Drive. So. Uh, that's it. So you can you can really limit uh, the usage of the add-on to the documents that it is used in. Okay, so click allow. And then, okay, so uh, basically the add-on works on both uh, Google Docs and Google Sheets as it shows here. Uh, unfortunately, this little uh, screenshot by Google is uh, obsolete because they have since renamed add-ons, the add-ons menu as extensions. Um, if someone at Google sees this, it would be great to fix this. Okay, click next. And now uh, basically you can click done. So you will see that now the button has turned to uninstall. And you could be, you could have done exactly the same thing from extensions here, add-ons, get add-ons. And then typed APT and selected it. We now see that it is installed. So if I go back to my spreadsheet. Now I see it in the menu here. And I will, in the next video, teach you how to set an API key, which is the next step of the setup, uh, which you can, by the way, also do from Google Docs. Oh, so if you see this, it's a good thing it's happened actually. If you see this, all you need to do is just reload your documents. Sometimes add-ons fail to load properly. So just reload your documents and then there you go. Now you can uh, use the full menu. Okay, hope this helps and see you uh, in the next video for a tutorial as to how to create and set up an API key. Bye-bye.